The celestial cosmos is alive with an aura of mystery. Far beyond human reach lies a universe that remains largely untapped and unexplored. From the unknown and unidentified secrets obscured in our solar system to the distant stars, our mysterious universe remains enshrouded in a veil of riddles and enigmas. Humans want to traverse distant galactic terrains that have never been probed before in order to develop an understanding of their origins and evolution, and NASA has discovered a way to do just that. Join us on this breathtaking journey of exploration and innovation centered around the spectacular image of a star that has generated shockwaves in the scientific community. Major Milestones The James Webb Space Telescope has just accomplished a major alignment milestone according to NASA's press release. In Washington, the Associate Administrator for NASA's Science Mission Directorate Thomas Zerbushen remains confident and optimistic. He anticipates that the design of the most powerful telescope will nail its desired objectives and deliver. The James Webb Observatory is the gold standard, the numero uno, that has set a limitless bar in terms of space exploration. It remains unmatched and unparalleled, crowned above the rest in the domain of space science observatories. The ultra-powerful telescope will help scientists crack and penetrate the elusive mysteries of the ethers and the vast universe with its expanse of planetary and other space bodies. Scientists will be able to glean vital information about how it all started, the origins of the universe. JWST's international space program is no ordinary undertaking. On the contrary, the project occupies gargantuan proportions, zeroing in on team effort and collaboration with NASA at the helm. Two other partners, the European Space Agency ESA, and the Canadian Space Agency have joined hands with NASA to propel the initiative to its success. Teams working on the telescope have left no stone unturned in terms of its revolutionary design and innovative operations. A critical operation a question remains, what was so critical to the success of the James Webb Telescope that NASA has finally managed to pin down? The James Webb Telescope's pioneering spirit requires never been used before systems. A key element on which the success of the telescope rests is the cohesive alignment of its novel optical system and ensuring that it functions well. NASA has successfully triumphed over the feat of navigating the steps related to the final phasing of the telescope's critical mirror alignment. This milestone will catapult the optical abilities of the telescope to break new barriers and surpass its own goals of space observation. The history of the telescope dates more than 20 years ago. The ambitious aim was to construct the most powerful telescope on the entire globe. The Webb team had decided to opt for a revolutionary and unconventional optical design to keep up with the fast-paced scientific progress. It was a risky move that finally paid off. Was the optical design of the Webb telescope really that far out? The fact that the telescope is the first of its kind floating around in space which utilizes a design that is effective in telescopes operating on ground on planet Earth places it in a unique category, all on its own. Let's consider the details. Earth-based telescopes make use of segmented primary mirrors. The Webb harbors a primary mirror that measures 21 feet 4 inches or 6.5 meters. However, the fact that this extraordinary telescope operates in space veers it towards tricky terrain. The size of the mirror does not make it compatible to fit inside a rocket fairing due to its large proportions. Here comes the unique bit. To overcome this hurdle, 18 hexagonal beryllium mirror segments make up the telescope's foldable primary mirror. Come launch time, the mirror has to be folded up. In order to create a single mirror surface in space, the mirror is unfolded following an intricate process with each mirror carefully realigned within nanometers. Success at long last To prove the success of the final phasing, each of the web's primary mirror segments were realigned to produce a phenomenal unified image centered on a star. At NASA Goddard, Ritva Keski Kuha, the Deputy Optical Telescope Element Manager for Webb, is ecstatic that their hunch has been confirmed. The team has achieved victory in creating a telescope that is right after all. Keski Kuha spilled more details and remained enthusiastic about focusing and aligning the Webb on a star. The team was thrilled at the results which had surpassed specifications. The predominant focus of the image was a star in order to gauge the mirror's alignment. However, in what appears to be photobombing at its finest, clusters of stars and galaxies adorn the spectacular image. 
This is the magic and miracle of the James Webb Telescope and its ultra-sensitive NIR cam, as well as cutting-edge optics. Let's gather the latest information about the star that is the focal point of the image generated by the Webb. The articulately named star has earned the name of 2 Mass J17554042 plus 6551277. Rather lengthy, but it's based upon a coordinate based catalogue designation, as per NASA. To get a clearer picture, chew on this interesting factoid. While the star is certainly situated within the vastness of our galaxy, it is actually at a massive distance about 2,000 light-years away. The far-off galaxies that are sprinkled across the image's background are estimated to be billions of light-years away as well. That should give you a glimpse into how powerful of a telescope the James Webb Telescope truly is. The galaxies are astonishingly situated well outside the Milky Way. The image showcases a somewhat spiky-looking impression of the star, a description provided by NASA. As per NASA's website, the 18 hexagonal mirror segments of the web have resulted in the diffraction pattern. The segments of the mirror after undergoing unfolding have been tweaked or adjusted and are operating as a primary mirror with a 6.5 meter diameter. The mirrors have been positioned to acquire a diffraction limited alignment at infrared wavelengths. Diving into details. Aligning all these mirrors is not child's play. The intricate process is dictated by minutely controlling various motors that move each segment. Not a mean feat, space does not provide the most hospitable environment for such tasks. However, the results are worth the painstaking effort, with the highest resolution infrared images emerging from JWST that have been clicked in space. Images of such nature are also known as deep field images. Jane Rigby, the operations scientist, of the James Webb Telescope. Stationed at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center, Maryland, it is a celebration of sorts. The project scientist is especially thrilled at the idea of taking a peek at galaxies far, far away, separated from us by billions of light years with relative ease, all thanks to JWST's abilities to capture deep field images. The targeted lag range points of the telescope is an enormous 930,000 miles from our planet. It is only upon reaching this point that the advanced telescope unleashes its sunshield. The hexagonal mirrors of JWST are also able to spread out after this point. Another team member who's celebrating NASA's big win is Scott Acton, the lead wavefront sensing and control scientist of the Webb team. The scientist spilled his thoughts on the JWST YouTube channel. According to him, the performance of the telescope has been above par and beyond all expectations. The telescope has outdone the results depicted by models. More eye-opening developments Summer is a season to look out for. That's the timeline NASA has provided to reveal the pioneering first full-resolution imagery obtained from the telescope, backed by scientific data. It will be a landmark moment in space history and in the history of the $10 billion telescope observatory. At this moment, it's important to clarify that images of this star have been clicked by other telescopes, but those images did not have the kind of high resolution that James Webb Telescope is capable of producing. The telescope can pick up light which cannot be detected by visible range, also known as infrared. The cost of the mega expensive observatory alone sets it apart from all others. This is by far the most expensive observatory which was designed and created to be launched into space. Years of toil and sweat have been painstakingly devoted to its development. Even the target of the telescope's image has pulled a switcheroo. The previous subject of the image that was captured to align and make the mirrors of JWST work in unity was a star in the Ursa Major constellation named HD 84406. Are there any special characteristics that motivate NASA scientists to cherry-pick the stars for its images? Astronomer Marshall Perrin of the Space Telescope Science Institute sheds light on the subject. According to the astronomer, the stars are certainly not special snowflakes. They are chosen due to the suitability of their brightness bearing in mind the rigors of engineering tests that they will be subjected to. The future looks bright. Once the telescope is fully functional, it will be able to penetrate back in time, so to speak, and take a peek at galaxies that came into existence following the Big Bang. The cherry on top is that the images will be big on aesthetics as well as scientific value. Catch you later!